So according to the Highway Loss Data Institute, 25 of every 1,000 Dodge Hellcats are reported stolen. Now, some published reports indicate this American muscle car is stolen 60 times more frequently than any other car. Now, Andy Cordana has covered this phenomenon for years and joins us with yet another video. And this one shows the lengths the bad guys will go to get one of these cars. Andy. Hey there, Mark. You know, Barry Hill's currently working a case involving a stolen Hellcat. Now, it has mechanical problems and it won't start. But the bandits, they don't know this, and they go to extremes to steal this $50,000 automobile. On March 8th, around 6 a.m. Bandits will bust out the window of this 2020 Dodge Hellcat. It gets up there on top of the line. Um, it's a pretty expensive car. It's very sought after for these guys who are stealing vehicles. When it won't start, they push it down a hill using another vehicle that police say is also stolen. How often do you see bad guys using a stolen car to push a stolen car? No, I don't see that too often. I mean, uh, that's probably one of the first instances <laughs> I've seen in a long time. The bad guys push the Hellcat into this remote driveway. And because the electrical system's out and the batteries in the trunk, the bandits have to go through the back seat and pop the trunk from the inside. Watch that again, like a thieving whack-a-mole. The bad guy pops out of the trunk. When's the last time you saw a bad guy pop out of a hood like a magic show? <laughs> On camera, that's the first time I've seen that one in a while. Then the thieves attempt to jump the battery. But with a bad starter, that never happens. It's funny because it doesn't run. So they, they must have uh, pushed it down here. A few hours later, police begin getting calls about the stolen Hellcat. Yeah, they busted out his... Yeah, the window. Cat. Yeah, that's, that's all over their parking lot. The owner soon arrives. I thought that was going stupid, and I was just like, man, it's going to be the worst situation. He's sad to see the broken window, but he's glad that a mechanical failure kept car thieves from stealing his $50,000 muscle car. They must have pushed it down the hill or something. They had to because I knew it wouldn't start. Come to find out when the victim come to recover his car, he said, I've been working on this for a while, too. It's a bad starter. It's not going to start at all. I do a lot of crime stories, and these cars are often used in a lot of crimes. Mm -hmm. That's right, they are. So you think that's probably what we're doing here? Steal a car to use in a crime? Yeah, I don't like making assumptions, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was going with. So if you recognize the bad guy who was popping out of that car trunk, give the Berry Hill police a call. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Back to you guys.